guys welcome back to another youtube video today i am going to be showing you the simple animation for the subscribe and like button now i am going to edit it in the video right here right now so you will see it pop up it's going to be something similar like that um all you need is to go to panzoid don't type in panzoid.com just type in panzoid and then boom click on the first link because if you click on panzoid.com it will not do it okay so if you just click on panzoid panzoid oh sorry guys so panzoid first link power free online tools community if you're out custom content boom now i've already got one pulled up here so let me just turn it back to now you will have to scroll down um and look for something with like an animation that says like subscribe like these ones here uh, i will put a link to one and then if yeah so let's look at this animation there's no sound or nothing but it does not matter now let's watch the animation to make sure everything's okay that's really simple that's a really simple one but it does not matter what i want you to do is go on this symbol here and download it now it will take a couple of seconds depends how long the clip is um but don't mind everything up here this is just my normal stuff um, oh yeah, and also I will be doing a tutorial how you can get the keyboard up on your screen, like this. I get on with some of my streams, so stay tuned. Okay, so once you go with this, don't press this. This bad. This bad. Okay, don't press this. Press download your video, and it depends if you're on a different web browser. It come up like this, so. You can rename it to intro new um, show in folder. So um, I am going to be opening up my editing software called Shopcut. Um, I will leave a link to that in the description. Um, but it's very good. The software is very good. Now it is a little bit laggy. I, I apologize. Um, it's because let me just delete all these clips and stuff so we can get started actually i'm going to start a new one so new file do not save so uh i name it tutorial but you can name it whatever you want and press start now sometimes it will not give you a timeline to drag the um what do you call it the videos in so what you want to do is you want to click on this sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't or even playlists now i don't know if it's working for me at the moment but so now i've got that open you want to go to your downloads folder you want to find it you won't have as many downloads as me well at least i hope so um and what you want to go and do is open up playlist drag this in and what you want to do is preview it if it's all okay drag it down to the timeline it will be a little bit laggy oh there we go see it, it does lag sometimes um but yeah i will be showing you how to do it on shop cut and film or and i not many people do it on film or and i I used to, um, so yeah. I have a lot of experience on film or name, but so what you want to do is you want to get the timeline up. Why is that open? You want to drag this to the timeline. Um, let me full screen it. Um, so you'll see this um, down there. What you want to do is you want to go onto filters. Um, if, it, if the box doesn't show up near playlists, what you want to do is 
you want to click filters next to timeline to bring you to the filters. So then you press that plus sign. Once you've done that, scroll down until it says. Oh yeah, you have to go onto video and scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down. Now you might miss it because there are so many things here. But it would be called Chroma Key Simple. Chroma because I don't know if you guys have done anything like or familiar of anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm just gonna bring a random video from my camera. Uh, or a recently filmed video. So you won't be getting anything leaked, so don't worry. Um, so if I just do this, I don't know if it works. Um, there we go. For example, I'll, I'll give this FNAF video and I'll drag this down to the timeline. I don't know why it's been like this today. It was fine earlier. How do I drag? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. You can drag this out. It's too little for you. Um, I, 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 I am gonna do that. But well, I was, but it does lag a little bit. So what you wanna do is, if it does do that like this, all you need to do is drag it where it says timeline. You need to drag it and just put this to the side. Put this over here. Uh, I'd recommend stretching it out. Uh, what you want to do is, um, is get this, get this specific one, and try and get it. So usually it will come up with this, right? What you want to do is, you want to press add. Oh, never mind. You want to press this button here. Add video track. So what you want to do is put that on the V2 video track and for example we, I don't know if you want to put the put um, the animation to where it says like subscribe straight away but what you want to do is that's it or that should be it. So what subscribe yeah, animation still. right there. But still be So there we go. Boom. Oh, how do I pause the video? I don't know. Yeah, so it depends if you want it to go further on in the video. But all you need to do is select that and and then do simple corona key. So for example, Hell's I can like this like this. Desk. There we go. <laughs> it will leave a little bit of green. Don't worry. Um, it's well. You can improve that by doing the um hard chroma key doesn't matter uh, but now i am going to be showing you how to do this on filmora 9 so see you in a second see you in a second so i have got filmora 9 up here and what you want to do is press the new project now go to your files find a video that you are interested in uploading drag it to this sometimes it does say this the file is not supported no worries no worries but you can input this now what you want to do is drag it to the first timeline and make sure the video is running yeah, perfectly still. and everything um would not recommend this software um but i would for beginners uh i'd recommend buying the software so you don't have a massive watermark um and then what you want to do is bring up the Oh, I think I've lost it now. Um, so, because I've already got a animation like that, what I'm just going to do is go like this. So, I'm just going to import this and some other things. So, you could. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that you can do it with everything. So, what you want to do is drag a random thing to here oh. but always drag it here so what you want to do is you don't want, you don't want it to be like that you want it to be overlaying on the video 
So what you want to do is click on it. Hold it and click where it says stabilization. You want to click on Chrome key. And you should be able to. Should be. Yep. Yeah. yeah, but still. It's more better. And you can change the corner smooth. It's a blue screen, pink screen. Uh, no worries. Um, and then if you wanted to add a animation layer on top of that, you can do that and click Chroma key. Boom. So these can come up at the same time. Uh, but I would not yeah, recommend but still. it. Actually, I kind of would, but... But still? Yeah. Oops, sorry, guys. Oh. Yeah. So what I'd recommend doing... Wait, that's is that you doing that? that? I see on my fucking desk. <laughs> also, if you want to do an outro on top of an outro, you just need to do the same thing. Just click on this, click the colour that your background is or that you want to cut out, and you can change the edgeness, fitness. So, for example, on the other software, it was like, had some green left. Yeah, but it's still you can make it so it's... Still. With this, with my one, it's got sound effects in. Yeah, but still. Um, but don't worry, you can just find one within two clicks. Uh, but guys, hope you um, like it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, turn notifications on if you haven't already. And then uh, also go follow my guy Lewis FN on Twitch and YouTube. Okay, thank you. Peace out. Mm -hmm.